Hello, friends. I... I guess I've been away for a little while. But really, I've just been here. <laughs> um, I am making this video specifically for me. And most likely, any videos moving forward are also going to be me for me. Uh, and I guess until further notice. <laughs> and not that they weren't in the past but that's why i eventually stopped vlogging was because it had stopped being for me and it started being for other reasons and my vlogging that i'm going to start doing is going to be different this time it's again going to be more self-serving but i also think it'll be for beneficial to the world if slash when I reach my goals. But the journey is going to be different. I guess I've always been on this journey. But years have passed since I vlogged last. And there's a lot of reasons behind that. And I'll talk about those, obviously, over coming videos and times but as of right now i need some accountability and knowing that i'm going to share this with more than just myself will help me for that so i'm not doing this for you but i am using you <laughs> Anybody that actually ends up watching this, which in some ways I'm grateful isn't a ton. I've had a pretty awesome communities in any time I've been online. Whether right now I do Kingdoms, which is my nerd channel. And in the past when I did Becoming Super, I just had a lot of support. And I've been, I felt really very lucky about that because I know a lot of others out there maybe get hate for different reasons and I've gotten a few negative comments here and there but overall I've been yeah blessed and very grateful for those that end up do watching me a lot of it is because it's mostly friends and family but even those that I don't know personally that watch me and support me in the past um have meant a lot so but yeah, I just, I, most recently, I'll, I'll touch base on this, I ballooned, almost literally, except the, you know when you feel a balloon full of water instead of air? That's basically what happened to me. Just still a little bit hard for me to comprehend. Uh, some numbers though. I went into the hospital in June, July. August? August? August. And I was in the ICU at 616 pounds. That's right, at 616. Not only was I over 500 pounds, which is a quarter ton, I was 116 pounds above that, which literally makes me almost want to throw up when I really think about it, especially when I share that number at, um, with anyone but my doctor, or even when my doctors would say that, I didn't believe it, because <clears throat> um, for me, and this is something I'm going to definitely talk about in more, and a little bit of a a warning, a sensitivity warning. Um, because I'm going to mention this, but I th what I determined uh, is slow suicide is what I was going through. Um, maybe someone else has coined that elsewhere, but when I've really thought about things, that's what I was going through. And 
am still working through. And what that means to me, what basically was happening was, although I didn't go ahead and commit any acts to try and take my life, I had given up on taking care of myself to the point that I was on a much faster track towards dying than you typically are through aging, right? And well, that means that I was just not caring at all about calories, exercise. Um, I still cared about hygiene, um, but I, some of that was affected because it was just so much harder to be as hygienic. I, it was harder to shower. It was I couldn't bathe. I couldn't, you know, I couldn't fit in a tub. Basically, you know, like, um, you know, and so I still was hygienic, and I did quite a bit just because of some of my tendencies. Not anything OCD or anything like that, but I've always been paranoid about being stinky. And anyways, that's that's a whole other side subject. But basically, this slow suicide. Um, is something that happens when I lose focus and lose purpose and lose self-esteem I, and just stress and depression and all kinds of things happen to the point that I've, I sort of give up, not subconsciously give up. Some, sometimes in very few moments in my li- times in my life I've purposefully c- consciously given up but even in my worst times most of the time I'm not consciously giving up meaning like I'm just like eating knowing that I never want to get healthy right like I'm always in my head like wanting to get healthy wanting to be strong wanting to be fit wanting to have good fashion and be able to wear the clothes and what I want, wanting to date and, and, you know, um, anyways, long story short for now, the slow suicide got me up to 616 pounds. And a lot of that came within this last summer, just within a few months, because I went from about 500 ish pounds to about 616 in just a couple months, because I was having heart failure and I didn't know it, um, among other things, you know, um, pre-diabetes. Um, I'm like right on the border of like having diabetes versus pre-diabetes um, and just a number of other things, but mainly heart failure. And what that means is that my body was, my, I wasn't getting enough oxygen just in daily life. And so there wasn't enough oxygen in my blood. And so I wasn't, my organs weren't getting enough oxygen because the blood wasn't transferring enough oxygen throughout my body. So my body would make more and more blood to try and get more oxygen to my organs, but the blood didn't have enough oxygen, so it would make more blood. So that constantly kept happening over and over to the point that I was just ballooned up full of water slash blood and just gained crazy amounts of weight in a relatively short time. And I had like brain fog and like, I could barely like walk and go up the stairs in my apartment and and all of this is just it started spiraling out of control to the point that you know I, I from the beginning of this year I started working with a di- a doctor and a nutritionist and a behavioral therapist and so I was like trying actively to to make some changes again um and the opposite was happening so I was literally in a calorie deficit a pretty substantial one for some of the summertime, and I was gaining weight. It was one of the most frustrating things of my life, and I'm still dealing with it a little bit now, even outside of the hospital. I'm on some diuretics, and like I'm, you know, I'm in a calorie deficit almost every day, um, you know, six out of seven days a week, and um, I'm still retaining water and still, you know, working in that that regard, and so. Anyways, I went to the hospital not fully understanding where I was at and, um, you know, they potentially saved my life and 
I could have very, if, you know, I was a little bit older or, you know, not, you know, I'm still almost 40 years old and, you know, I'm in my later thirties and, uh, that very easily just things could have failed and I could have just not come back and, um, when you're going through again, the slow suicide, you don't even have like a ton of desire to come back uh, as much as maybe others would that have a healthier body that have family for, you know, um, to, that we count on them, have children, a spouse, things like that. Um, you know, satisfaction with different parts of their life. Like my will to live has been attacked. Um, the, the longer I let myself go like this and, and so, but at the same time, I did have a stronger desire to, to live when sort of faced with my mortality like this. And, um, with obviously the help of the hospital and the doctors for a week and a half, I was in the hospital and I lost a hundred pounds in the hospital. Again, water slash blood. And, um, you know, I think it was a little hard on my body in a bunch of different ways. I, I think I lost a bunch of muscle. Um, I still have a, some tailbone issues. My tailbone is, I think, bruised or something. Um, but I did lose enough weight to start breathing again. And although here at my home, I do have like an air machine and I'm on a BiPAP, which is a more a fancier version of a CPAP, um, which is helping me sleep a little bit. Although it is still a struggle to you know, to get used to it and things. And, and so I don't want to go into everything right now, but this video is a way for me to get some things off my chest. And, and then really it's been 50 ish days since I got back from the hospital, maybe like 45. I, I only know that because I've been, um, tracking what I eat literally every single day in my, in an app. And, uh, yeah, I, you know, again, six out of seven days only, uh, you know, I've been in a calorie deficit and eating mostly protein, vegetables, fruit, smoothies, um, and then, you know, a little bit of uh, random not as healthy foods, but I, I am really working on my relationship with food this time and my relationship with myself and how I talk to myself and really taking more of a slow change than some of the things I've done in the past, but it is really hard in a number of ways. Because as you've seen, if you've ever watched any of my videos, or if you want to go check out any of my past videos, I've gained and lost weight at such where, you know, coming back from my uh, time in Detroit, Michigan, for my LDS mission, I was 235-ish pounds at 6'4". Um, I went into the mission field two years before that at 300 pounds and then up to 330 and then again down to 240 and then up to, you know, the high 300s and then uh, maybe in, into the 400s and then down to 270 again and then up to, you know, 400 um, and 20 and then down to 370 and then up to um, 500 and then up to 616 and now, now down to today I'm at 495 ish um, you know uh, I lost I've been losing like a pound a week kind of a thing um, again because I anyways so my experience with weight has always been this yo-yo dieting and it's because when I'm confident and, and when I'm paying attention and I'm working on my health, I can do it. I can eat less. I can exercise more. Um, and I had youth on my side. I can, you know, so I was losing weight, but then life would happen and things would happen that would get me in good and bad in different times, mostly bad, but good and bad. Uh, and that would distract me from the health journey and then I'd balloon and wait again, you know, most recently was the pandemic. I was based, you know, I had, um, left slingshot, which, you know, I had a lot of stability there in different ways, but I'd, you know, gone to, a another software company, um, 
and you know i was there for a year and a half and that was fine but then because of the pandemic i got laid off i was alone in a house up in eagle mountain utah just with me and my dog and i was there for a good six months so i decided to sell my house and um, move into an apartment in my my parents basement um you know still paying rent and it's my full you know autonomous apartment but uh still you know being able to interact with family more and and having you know that was a good change but it it also was a little bit negative of not being you know on my own again you know i was not on my own anymore in in the sense of where like i'm at my childhood home i you know and uh and so yeah I, i've been doing a lot of stuff with kingdoms which is my my nerd youtube channel and that's been great in a lot of ways you know tried to create an events events company which completely blew up in my face and has put me in a really bad financial state but it was an adventure and it was a something that i you know would have regretted not trying i think um you know, that's the thing about I'm learning about regrets is I have regrets of doing some things because of their negative outcome, but I think I would have had more regrets if I didn't try it. So I don't think you can ex escape regrets I, was what I've decided. You make choices in life and you don't know how things would have turned out, um, but you just, the best way is, is to try and minimize regrets by at least doing things that um you know taking advantage of opportunities but this is going a lot longer than i anticipated basically long story short what i'm trying to say is i'm going to start my journey again and i'm going to start recording it and uh i'm not necessarily going to commit to like recording every single day i am going to try to but i'm not going to necessarily do that as because it, last time i got sort of in a weird mental state and it was not good to be like, oh, I have to record today. No, I'm not going to record if like I'm absolutely dead tired or I have nothing to show or different things like that. But in general, I'm going to record and show my my journey. If maybe you know, I maybe I will still try and do every day, even showing off days where maybe I don't work out one day or I eat a little bit not on um, intentional as intentional as possible. Or I'm not saying but that just happens you know it's not what i'm gonna plan for but um i'm gonna show my whole journey but i'm also gonna change things up a little bit so how things are gonna be is i am gonna have some of these just talking head videos um i'm sure they will be not as interesting as some of my other videos because they're literally just me monologuing to myself slash you uh, but I am also going to do some vertical vlogs, meaning uh, for like TikTok and YouTube shorts, where I'm just going to show brief, you know, clips, maybe 30 second to one minute, maybe longer, but probably around like just a minute videos of like what I like clips, quick clips of any exercise that I do, little snippets of it, and then what I'm eating in that day. And so if you want to follow that follow me on tiktok uh carlos j diamond if you want to follow me on youtube you, that's probably where you're seeing this most likely um i will have shorts on here as well carlos j diamond and um we'll see what happens you know i'm not i i do have grand dreams and things but this time uh i it, this is the last time what I mean by my, the last time is I don't know I'll survive. I don't know I'll survive the God, the next time. So, yeah, sorry. Maybe I maybe it has affected me a little bit more than I thought, but um, yeah. So this time I have to. Um, make permanent change if I'm going to live in this world and, and do the things that sorry oh. um, suck yeah do the things that uh, maybe I've come to this world to do and um, 
Yeah. So to myself in the future, good job for sticking with it and losing a bunch of weight and getting healthy and strong. And uh, to anyone else in the future, it is really hard, you know. Um, and it's hard because it's not it's not about the weight loss. It's not about the exercise. It's not about the foods, really. It's about our internal state and what we think about ourselves and if we care about ourselves or not. And the more you do, the more you realize that we're unique and there's no one ever going to be like us again. And we just have this blip of time here in this world and that we should take advantage of it and, and live. And, and that means too, that we should eat good food and eat fun food and eat, you know, I don't think I am changing how I look at food and moving forward where there's no bad food other than as long as it's food. That's what I was talking to my parents the other day. I was like, Bad food, the only bad food that uh, I consider to be bad food anymore is if it's not food. And what I mean is it's processed or it's chemicals or it's plastic, you know. As long as it's real food, if you're eating a bunch of cheesecake and it's just made out of, you know, cream cheese and uh, graham crackers and butter and, you know, like it's technically fatty. It has a lot of fat and like you, it's high calorie but if, as long as you're balancing your calories over, you know, a, a week period and a daily period, and as long as you're, you know, not allergic to the food or, you know, like me, lactose intolerant, maybe I shouldn't have so much of the dairy. But no food's bad as long as it's food. You, you, you can gain weight if you have too many calories, but you can gain weight eating healthy food. That's something that I've experienced. And you can lose weight eating processed fake food right? Um, if you have a calorie deficit, you're not eating enough, you know, or not eating uh, that much. So weight gain and weight loss is not the food. That's, that's nutrition. Nutrition is, is getting nutrients and, uh, to our cells so that the correct hormones are, are made. And, and so that you have the energy you need to lift your, your body and, and move your body in this world. And so there's, there's no bad foods as long as it's food. And, um, that's, that's how I have to talk to myself a lot of times, um, because you can have treats, you can have, you know, a, a hamburger and fries and a milkshake, you know, but maybe just don't do it as often as I, I did and don't do it because you're sad or because you're bored or because you don't like yourself or because, you know, um, all the different reasons that we, use food as a as a drug use food as a medication use food to fill a void that needs to be healed not filled um that's one thing too i was always like what can i fill this void with instead of food well it's not a void that should be filled it should be it should be healed it should be changed and we should be you know we should grow and and become better and and not have the void any longer but that's way hard, harder to do than me just saying it. So anyways, that's my goal and hope at this moment is to make these changes. And uh, if anyone has listened this far, um, you're amazing. Thanks so much for supporting me. And uh, if, you do have, if you do have content that you've liked in the past, I'd, I would like to hear that. What kind of things did you like about any of the vlogs or things that I've done in the past? Or if there are people that you follow that or content that you do enjoy that I might be able to do as part of this, let me know about that too. I am curious. I, I, don't, I won't guarantee that I do what you're saying, but I, I would like the ideas and, and, um, and I, um, but yeah, so check out look for the shorts, you know, to get quick snippets of my daily exercise and eating right and things like that. I, I might not even talk in them. It might just be like music and like quick shots of the stuff. And then, um, maybe a few text on, on the screen of like how much I ate of different things. And I might have like, you know, starting weight, uh, for the day when I weigh in and like, um, how much sleep I got the day before. So, the, those those video those shorts and TikToks will just be like little quick snippets, and um, partially I don't want to have to do something that takes a ton of time every day, so that's why I'm doing that. And um, but yeah, 
I don't know if I'll do personal vlogs again where I'm like just vlogging my daily life. I, I think, I don't know if there's some, maybe I will, but it will be not, it'll be tagged as something different. It won't be connected to the health. Like, I, you know, it won't just be a daily vlog to showing all that stuff and my eating. It'll, those things will be separate. So like I am going to try and go to Japan next year. It's my big goal. I'm not going to tell you everything about my goal. I'm going to keep some of it to, close to the chest for now, but I do have a big goal of trying to lose enough weight to feel comfortable traveling in Japan by myself. Um, but I'll tell you more in the future about that. But anyways, um, I am going to try and do a little bit of a, a, a kick in the pants because I'm going to my first trip in a couple of years. To, um, I haven't, is we're going to dr go to Magic Con Vegas. Um, with a couple of us, and uh, um, it's during my birthday weekend. It's literally my birthday is the Saturday of the weekend, and uh, yeah, I want to be a little bit fit in my clothes just a little bit better when I go there. So uh, I'm going to be trying to do some more walking, and I'm really at like ground zero right now. Like I struggle to like go up the stairs. Not struggle, but like it's a little bit hard to like go up the stairs or um, to walk around the block right now. So, um, yeah, it's, I wanted to start this a little bit sooner, but I had to give myself a little bit of post hospital recuperation, um, break, I guess. And, um, but now it's time and, uh, yeah, it's time to reach my goals and my dreams. And I'm excited for the journey along the way. It's going to be, I know what, it's going to be hard. Like, I've been, I've done this before. And that's what's one of the hardest things is I've gone through and lost so much weight before. And I know how much struggle and effort it takes. But it's worth it. And this time is the last time. We're going to make those changes. And I can do it. We can do it. See ya.